Okay, well I had a YouTube uh, user contact me. He is trying to resurrect a 1986 Buick, which is very similar to this 89 Electra that I have here, and he asked for a little bit of information about what's under hood on one of these cars. As far as I'm aware, all Buicks of this general body style, the LeSabre, the Electra, the Park Avenue, etc., they all have the GM 3800 V6 in them, which is a very solid and reliable engine. And there's a couple of basic components in here that most cars have. Here you have the uh, ignition system. This is an electronic spark system, which uh, has three wires going to each bank of spark plugs on the side of the engine. The three front spark plugs are there, and the three back spark plugs are here. They are kind of a trick to get at if you have to change them. If you have some that aren't firing, I would suspect that your uh, electronic module's top half is bad before I'd look at the plugs. But if that doesn't help, then definitely check the plugs and see if they're any good. Also check the wires, because they can crack and go bad and result in loss of spark. Um, back here is the power steering pump, and on this car, the power steering pump opens like this. There is no power steering fluid in there right now because this car is actually leaking it. There's an alternator which charges your battery. Down there is the air conditioning compressor which yours may or may not work and you may or may not care to fix it. Over here is the battery tray which after some time of having leaky old batteries sitting on top of it, it may turn very rusty and have to be replaced. As you can see this one has just completely fallen apart there. Lots and lots of rust. You got your radiator out here, which cools the engine, of course, as you're going down the road. Or if you're not going down the road and the engine gets hot enough, you have this electric fan that is automatically turned on if need be. You should definitely keep your fingers clear of that if the key is on, because it can start at any time, and it moves pretty quickly, so it could really hurt you. Over here is the air cleaner and the tube that connects it to the intake of the engine. You should definitely run your engine with the air cleaner attached, otherwise something could get into the engine and mess it up. If your car has it, this pump right here, this electric air pump, is for the uh, air suspension in the rear. It's a feature that on Cadillacs is known as level ride. I don't know what they call it on the Buicks, but probably something similar. Of course, there's a horn over there. There's two horns on this car. There's one back over here by the battery tray, too. This is your radiator cap, and you can open this, but don't do so if the engine has been running, because if it's hot in there, the system builds up pressure if it's working properly. But you can open this by pushing down on it and turning, and then it lifts out. And again, this, this car could use some coolant. <laughs> of course, it's not been driven in a while because it's got leaky lines and things like that. Speaking of lines, down there are some transmission cooler lines that are rusty. Now, on your car, at least on the car that I was asked about by the YouTube user, you may have the different ignition system, which actually mounts up here and is serviced a little differently to this one. I'm told that on the other type of system that these individual packs actually come off, and I don't know if it splits into two halves or not. But if your ignition module is bad and your service engine light is on, you may find that your engine light will not go off until you replace the module. But you can go quite a ways before the module finally poops out for good, although it may leave you stranded somewhere. And of course up here, is your red windshield wiper, which is good for at least 20 or 30 more horsepower than you've got now. <laughs> Back here is where the brake fluid goes. This is the brake master cylinder, and this is the fluid reservoir. You should definitely check this before driving your car anywhere. There is a scale on the side of it that tells you how full it should be. If you have to put brake fluid in, and the only thing you want to put in there is brake fluid, then there's a scale on the other side of it that tells you how much to put in. Just because it's down doesn't mean there's a problem. As well, as, as long as your brakes are working, the pads wear down over time, and the fluid level in that reservoir drops. On top of the engine, you have this plastic guard that covers some of the wiring and fuel system. You have this thing here, which is a type of valve. I believe they call it a Schrader valve that can be used to connect a fuel pressure meter or to drain the fuel system of pressure. But be very careful if you open that because the system is very highly pressurized. Here's a coolant overflow tank, which you can fill up according to the scale on the side. It tells you that this is uh, full hot, and down here is the add line. You can see this car needs some. And then finally, here's the windshield washer tank. Anyway, hopefully that uh, gives you some idea of what to find under hood on your 3800 engine-equipped Buick in the 1980s-something model years. And I hope you have enjoyed this video.